guys, this is Mega88-1000 again with a hopefully shorter update about the making of of the Shine Greymon recent model kit by KH Zone. As I mentioned shortly in the first update, I did not intend to use the molded on packs on the fire parts for the connection to the lower body part, but to use the remaining largest real joint connection pieces but the packs on the joint connections were too thin and the pre-drilled holes in the lower body part too big. That's why I wanted to fill the pre-drilled holes with a kind of two component glue or mess which hardens so that I can then drill a smaller hole in those filled out sections in the lower part of the body again and adapt it to the size of the packs of those wide joint connection pieces. During thinking about this I also decided to do the same for each of the connection of the hands to the forearm parts, of course with smaller joint connections that I still had from the two other recent model kit figures, so as not to use the molded on packs of the hands for the connection in order to achieve a better and poseable joint connection for the wrist section as well. No sooner said than done, luckily my former had still a working hardening to component mess lying around in his storage. As you can see it is a filler compound that is actually used to repair car paint damages especially like on bumpers etc. On top lying the tube with the hardener. If you mix these two components you get a hardening mass that can be reworked. So we tested it and the mixed mass got hard and we drilled a test hole and it worked as expected. So we could use this mass for this project. And as you can see this is how we filled out these two big pre-drilled holes in the respective parts. I prefer to leave all this work to my father because he simply has more experience with such stuff because you also had to be quick because this mess is once mixed up it hardens very very quickly. And I concentrated more on shooting the photos. <laughs> yeah. We then let the now filled out parts air dry overnight and the next day we were able to start the further working on the parts. First we done the forearm parts and hands and then the lower body part and the thighs. My father first pre-drilled smaller holes with a thinner drill as a guide for the later final drillings in the respective filled out sections which you can see in these pictures. Then my father used the larger drill to drill the final holes first in the right forearm part. As you can see here the joint connection is already connected in the forearm part in this picture. Then we cut off the molded on pack of the right single hand with a nipper for plastic but not cut it, it completely and as you can see we left a short piece of the pack on it to have a better reverence for the later drilling and for the position for the drilling as you can guess maybe then my father drilled the hole in this hand and cut it off the remains of the molded on pack then we did the same as I just described for the second right hand which is integrated and molded into the sword. And of course we repeated the same process for the left forearm part as well as for the left hand. So we drilled the hole in the left forearm part, did not cut off the pack of the left hand completely, drilled the hole in his hand, cut away the remains of the pack of the left hand. After we did the same for the lower body part and the thigh parts. My father drilled the small guiding holes in the lower body part 
now wider with the larger drill now for the matching right size for the later joint connections for the thighs to the lower body part. Then we cut off the majority of the molded on pack from the right thigh part, drill the hole in this thigh part and cut away the remains of this pack. We repeated the same process for the left thigh section as you can see here. Yeah, and that should be it for this second update. I hope that it was at least a bit interesting for you. I will demonstrate and show you the at first sobering result in the next on camera update. As I announced in the last update, it would have been sadly impossible to show you the complete process on camera, which I had just explained now here. So this video was now again in the older style, but therefore completely in English. Yeah. Well then, until the next update about the making of, of KH Shine Cramon, I'm out again for now. And if you kinda like this making of video series, then I would be very grateful for a thumbs up for it. And of course also about if you would subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching your Mega 88 1000. <laughs>